Hi, and welcome to my video on the um, Optera from eFlight. Um, I decided to buy one of these after seeing a couple of YouTube videos. And um, so far it's been okay, I've maidened it. Um, no videos of the maiden yet, um, there to follow. Um, but this is just a general outline on how I found it and um, and what I did to put a, I put an autopilot in it already, as you can see, with the pretty lights. Um, I flew it on 3S, um, and overall it was pretty good. I used two 4000 Multistar batteries, 3S, um, giving me 8000 milliamp hours of battery power. Um, I flew for almost half an hour on this, um, without any significant voltage drop. Um, they fitted in well, uh, one went right up the front, and then one went in the back just next to the autopilot so you can see them there quite clearly uh, the green multi-star batteries um, they provided heaps of power they had no problems um, with 8000 I only drew probably 12 13 amps when I was flying so that they weren't stressed out at all um, and um, yeah the, the plane flew well it didn't to my mind have a lot of power um, I use a Tyrannus I just simply it with the autopilot you simply program it for a standard four channel you actually let the autopilot do all the mixing so you just set up as a normal standard four channel and then um, let the autopilot you set up as a mixing Elevon model and it does all the mixing you don't have any mixes at all in the um, in the transmitter it's quite handy it makes it easier later on to tune it because otherwise if you use mix tuner mixes they don't always go through so um, it's just a Hu Flung Dung Pixhawk from Banggood. Um, I don't use the 3DR ones, not that you can get them anymore, so it's nothing special. Um, so far I've never had any trouble with them. Um, the Optera doesn't seem to have a lot of space when you first get it, but it's got a lot of little nooks and crannies, which is really handy because you can bung things down in there. I'll be showing you a couple of things. Now I just use a standard mission planner to to set all the parameters. So and I have a believe it or not just a, a Hu Flung Dung telemetry stick with a nine seven or six dB antenna on it, which does the telemetry perfectly. What I probably didn't show is the small antenna is um, from an RF D nine hundred um, on the inside, so it's quite powerful. Um, I've got better antennas, but that's just one I had, so I've got much better ones on order from RF Designs. So it's going to have a better antenna than that. The, um, it also has FPV. I put a, a very cheap FPV camera in it after I got the goggles. Um, and um, it seemed to work right, pretty flickery, but I think I've got to do a bit of work on that. Now coming up in a second is the actual close-up of the Pixhawk and how it's all plugged in. So you can see it's a standard installation. And down there, that's the RFD900 and also the FPV antenna. Now the motor was a bugger to get out because I had to um, replace the ESC and that's the only way to do it. And it just doesn't seem to be enough. I don't know whether I've been spoiled by my little foamy wings. So that's the where I managed to tuck the GPS. I didn't even have to mount it. And it gets a GPS inside, believe it or not. Now, this is the piece de resistance. That is the actual multi-star with reverse thrust. Now, I'm coming up to the next section now, but um, yeah, so I was flying on a gigantic oval today, like huge. It was two football fields, basically side by side. And seriously, without reverse thrust, I would not have landed it. It floated. On the day, it just floated and floated and floated and floated and was never going to stop. Fortunately, because I had the reverse thrust, I have it set up on my Tyrannus, I can just pull full reverse thrust and she came down beautifully, nice and stable, all perfectly level. And about a metre from the ground, I switch it off and it just flops into a normal landing. It is just brilliant. Seriously, you need, with this aircraft, you have to seriously consider fitting air brakes or something to slow it down because it just will not land. It just floats. When the motor's off, um, I turned the motor off a couple of times to land and flew three circuits with it.
to get it down low enough to even begin an approach. It just floats. It's a superb glider. Overall impression, um, it's beautifully easy to fly. It's stable. Um, it's a good autopilot plane, certainly. Um, there's plenty of room for the autopilot, um, and I didn't have any problems fitting anything in. I'm going to put a bigger downward-facing camera soon. Um, flying, it was very easy to fly. It didn't want to tip stall. It, the only criticism I have of it is, for me, it's not powerful enough. I couldn't get it to climb much. It's a very slow climb out. So again, if you get one, don't launch it close to a lot of trees. It won't climb out really fast. I don't know if I was doing something wrong, but it just wouldn't climb. Um, the motor for me is underpowered. Um, again, I don't know if I've been spoiled by foamy wings because I think I probably overpower them all. Um, it just seems to me to be a little slow. I think I'm either going to put a three blade prop with a bit more pitch to try it because it only draws 10 or 12 amps when it's flying and that's on three quarter throttle. It, full throttle is about 15 amps and I've got a 40 amp ESC. I think it just needs a little bit more power. But other than that I would heartily recommend it. It's a very easy plane to fly. It's easy, packs down into a little box and flies extremely well. And certainly if you're looking for a plane for an autopilot it is definitely a good one. It's easy, it's, far, it's fast enough, carries cameras, the front knows it has heaps of different attachments um, for to switch in and out. So it, 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 overall, it is really good. Now I did have a couple of problems tuning the autopilot. Um, I made a couple of mistakes with my parameters, so I won't be posting my parameters files just yet. But once I have it all sorted out and flying, and flying in auto, I'll post up my parameter files for anyone else that wants um, to put a Pixhawk in it. Um, overall, I really like it. I'm, I can't wait to I'll put a bit of, bit of bigger motor in it, maybe, uh, and or a different prop so I can just get a little bit more speed and a bit more climb. But other than that, it's pretty perfect the way it is. It flies beautifully. It certainly will be a good glider. I can't actually wait to slope it. So I'm going to take it down to the slope. It's going to be an unbelievably good slope, Sora. I might even just take all the batteries out and put that hard, uh, the original nose on it with a bit of weight. It should fly beautifully. Okay, well that's my review of the Optera.